we're partnered with South Plains College, eight uh, network providers, hospitals in the region. Uh, our goal is to enroll between 30 and 60 students into respiratory programs. They can learn uh, remote uh, and do their training from home, where otherwise they wouldn't be able to get this training that they need. Um, so I go out and market and try to get students um, to get into the respiratory program. Um, it's a two-year program. The grant completely covers it with the hopes that they will go and pass their boards and then the facility, go, they'll go back and work at their facilities within their, their community. Um, I work with nine different uh, rural towns and out of all of them, only four had full-time uh, respiratory therapists. It is very common to, to walk into a rural facility and then not even have any respiratory department. Um, they just transfer the patients out. Yeah, I think like a lot of places around the country, we learned through COVID, something that respiratory therapists already knew, there's not enough of us. Uh, we're, we're serving or targeting a uh, demographic that otherwise potentially would not have the opportunity to go to college uh, to get this training. Um, many of our, our students enrolled in the program, they're, first, they're the first one to ever attend uh, school, you know, after high school, so in their family. So uh, they're changing their family trees but they're also able to come back, impact their communities in a positive way. Yeah, with, without this funding, there's no way this program would have ever happened. Um, uh, the community college we've partnered with, they don't have the resources uh, to do this either. They've had to, with the funding through the grant, we've been able to hire additional staff for them, uh, get them additional resources, equipment. They need to do the training that they need. Yeah, we've got students that live as far as 200 miles away from the college. So that's part of the problem. We're so uh, spread out, out out in West Texas. So we serve a 500 mile radius at our facility, at our hospital. Uh, but these students that live outside of the community of Lubbock, uh, it's, it's been very challenging for a lot of them to, uh, you know, get to school or, or have this opportunity. They will have to do some travel to get some of their hands-on training. Um, but the funding again, through the grants, helping those students with housing uh, expenses, etc so that they can get their uh, training when they do have to travel they'll have an associate's degree they'll be able to get you know nationally certified we are not looking to hire these folks at our facility we just want to help train them so they can go back to their hometown communities and serve their community the funding has been amazing it covers everything for these students um coursework material all tuition um I mean, things down to pens, pencils, a desk if they were to need it. We provided laptops to everyone. Um, one of the big deals that we had to get approved through the grant was providing broadband internet to a lot of them because they didn't even have internet access and you have to have that in order to do online courses. Um, so it was little things like that that um, just kept adding up and we wouldn't have been able to ever provide something like that um, if it wasn't for the grant and the, the funding that we got approved for. South Plains has never had a um, online course like this so the the coursework is online and they have to do it through their computer um, you know link in with the teacher and then the clinicals we have a we've hired clinical people to go into each of these towns and they'll go in twice a week and teach them hands-on what the instructor taught in, in book courses. Um, so that half of it's online and half of it's in person. The opportunity that this is is giving these students, they would never have. Um, they just kind of think graduate high school and then they just work from there on out. Nobody goes out there and, and fights for them. And that's what this grant has really um, provided us. It's to give them so many opportunities and we hope that this lasts forever.